Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today I wanted to play with a little bit more styrene. So I would want to build myself a transport and a couple of my patrons will know what I'm talking about. And we're going to try to make a Winnebago transport from scratch. Here we go. Uh, let's see what I got for materials here in my variety pack. I'll probably start, maybe we'll use the heavy stuff. So I was thinking I would use this base from this motorhome as a good starting point. Honestly, I think the best thing to do is just start drawing. Some basic measurements here of how big this thing should be. It's going to be fairly big. Fairly big. This is going to be interesting. This more than likely is going to be a two-part video just because... gonna be a lot of work so I don't think we'll get it all built and styled and painted all in the same video it's just not gonna work so full disclosure full disclosure well that works a million times easier whoever it was gave me the tip of using the back of your exacto blade for scoring, 100% better. 100% better. Genius. Pure genius. Look at that. That's oh, glorious. Because you're not really trying to cut. You're just trying to score the top and then snap it clean. Beauty. Me, 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 me. That's a good start. That's a good start right there, boy. Kind of doing an angled version of the Winnebago. So I have a window here. It looks like crap on my drawing, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all about. It's all about the outline of the body at the moment. Yep, yep. A little snipper off the back there. Yes, yes. Hee <laughs> hee. Doesn't look like a Winnebago, does it? That's okay. That is okay. And I got my two bodies fairly close together. Roughly done. Roughly done. I'm going to modify our base here because I'm not going to be using any of these bumpers. I literally just want the little chassis that holds the wheels and something square that I can build on. So I'm going to go ahead and snip those off with the Dream Air. One or two body pieces to be on the outside of the base so that our wheels are completely tucked in there. So maybe we'll build some spacers and start getting this body looking a little bit more rigid. One little cross member on there. Another support going here. I'm trying to keep in mind where my windows and stuff are going to be. Maybe I should have cut those out first. I don't know. Don't need a heck of a lot of accuracy on this. I'm just trying to put a support in where it's out of the way. Just 
do one side. Yeah, that's not a bad start. Not a bad start. The basics are here. The basics. Doesn't fit worth a damn. One little roofy. Not that kind of roofy. Everything's still trying to shift around a little bit because it hasn't been fully cured. We're working a little bit quick here, but once this roof's on and a couple other pieces get on, maybe the front piece on the grill here, then things will really get firm. Not a big deal if I have a couple little things out of whack because it's just a matter of a little bit of filing, a little bit of sanding, and we'll get everything back aligned where it needs to be. So this is going to be hauling something pretty small. The initial plan was for a Volkswagen Beetle, but we'll see how it goes. Win a beggar. Win a beggar. Actually, everything else off the front comes to a point, so that's going to be tough. I don't know if the roof, the roof come to a point. No, the roof's pretty flat and I'm using a big enough piece that I'll be able to sand it to get whatever shape I want. So that's okay. I'm good with this. Now I'm going to glue it how it is and then trim off the extra after. I like it. It's kind of a tricky piece. I'm going to stick this piece right up the back. Mark my cuts. And I'm going to glue all that. Mm -mm. Scores. Beautiful. The cross member's crooked, but that wall's straight. Cool. And glue that in place. And by glue, I mean plasti weld. Literally melting the pieces together here. I might say glue a couple times, but I don't mean glue. It's real nice. Ew, eyelash. Ew. It's really coming together. It's really coming together. So the front kind of comes to a little bit of a point. So I'm probably going to do the grill separate and attach it in one piece instead of trying to build on here. So it's going to get a little technical. I've got this piece. I'm going to glue up in here and that should give me a real good start where I need to put my windows and then I can build the little top of the hood it's a little baby bump right here I gotta finish I'm gonna finish the little bump and then I'm gonna have a little bit of extra room here to put a grill in so it's gonna be real sweet so we'll let that dry fully and we'll go from there pimp starting to look real good you know Sometimes you just gotta, you know, build your own Winnebago. So now I want to put in my little hood piece right here, and then we'll work on the grill. I think I'm happy with that. So we're gonna go with it. Go, let that dry for a second. I might trim some of this away. Once I'm, once I'm sure that that ain't moving. I'm going to come in and file like this and just make the slightest point. So maybe I'll mark out center. So I got center marked. I know where I can do my angles. And I know where my windows are going to be. So I'll probably cut out my windows first. I'm going to just start by drilling holes. And then I got this mill bit. I'm just going to go and hopefully everything goes good. There are peepholes.
Okay, I got some Windows rough note here. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Bunch of stuff I'm gonna have to clean up later. Okay, now I'm ready to start working on this grill. So again, I gotta angle this front a little bit. So I plan on filing off whatever is sticking out on this corner and making a little point out of it. Okay, I got our angle. It's looking pretty good, pretty good. Whole lot of whole lot of filing. You gotta take your time on this kind of stuff. All kinds of flashing all over the place here. I gotta clean up. I'll do that after the sandpaper. Mm -mm. It's looking real good. Okay, so I'm gonna do our grill right down the center, all the way to the bottom. If I can do it in one piece, it'd be nice. Kind of doubting it, but we'll see. Maybe I can just score it in the middle and bend it a little. Give it a shot. So I've removed enough. Got a nice little bend happening here. Boop. That's really all I wanted. Hold. Hold. Everything else I'll be able to blend in nicely. The part I'm worried about is I can't really glue the back of this grill because I got this brace on the way. Who's that stupid guy who put that there? Who the heck put that there? What an idiot. Our front end's looking pretty good. I'm doing some filing here. Trying to get it into everything into shape. Sticking out a little bit far right now. But it looks kind of custom so I don't mind it too much. Winnebago's are not a good looking camper. I mean they're cool but they're not sexy. This grill part looks humongous right now. It's just because I don't have any, uh, it's gonna be a lower bumper like right here. I'll put a grill up here. And by the time all that's done, it'll start looking a little better. But right now it looks kind of funny. But don't let that bother you. She's gonna be cool. Mm -mm. If you couldn't file this stuff, I probably wouldn't even do it. But since you can, it gives me a chubby. And I just want to keep working. It's going to look cooler once I get the side windows in. Get that figured out. Maybe I'll do that next. They help me gauge how everything's looking once I get some side windows in. So Maybe I'll do that. Let's mark that out. Try to get a line here in relation to the bottom of the car. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's kind of like my orientation line. Mm-hmm. So now that I got that line, I can create an equal line. Go from here to here. Man, why is that tripping me out? <laughs> so weird. This top line is totally parallel to the ground, yet when you hold it like this, it looks like it's slanted, right? It's an illusion. Let's 
Come sick. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> gonna make a mandor. Gonna make it here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mandar. And it's gonna have its own little window. Ugh, hard to draw from behind the camera. It's gonna be like this, like a Mandor size window. I'm gonna get my little mill bit back on the Dremel. Open those up a little bit so I can get a file in there. I'm gonna go to File Town for a little bit. That'll work, but I need a smaller bit first. Just because there's a pretty substantial sized chunk of styrene up there, and I wanted to avoid it. So I avoided it on both sides, so that'll be all right. It's okay if that window's a little bit lower. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. looking pretty good pretty good I got this side to go here yet get this one all sorted out and I think we can move on to something else mm hmm all right I think I'm gonna stop there for the day Got a, got a really good start on it, but if I have any chance of getting a video out, I gotta stop working on this. I'll take a break anyways. It's gonna be sweet. I don't know if we're gonna use that or not. That's the start of it. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on it later tonight, but I am gonna take a break here, get this video done, and it'll be a two-parter, so more than likely this will be finished and painted in tomorrow's video. We'll see how it goes. If I start getting really crazy with details, you never know. It'd be cool to put trim around all these windows. Regardless, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Tune in tomorrow. We'll see the rest of this bad boy. See how everything turns out here. But once again, hell of a good start. See you in the next one.